So there's a great divide on whether or not to use a ball player on your Diamond Dynasty team. But regardless, we're going to show you this 125 power build for a second baseman ball player. And before we begin, make sure you leave a like, subscribe on the channel if this helps you out. Because this is definitely going to help you out there. So like I said, whether you use it or not, this is there for you. I usually don't use a cap, but early season, it, this is good. This is too good to pass up. Switch hitter, 125 power on both sides, 112 on contact on both sides with 77 speed. And I don't even have the full base finished. So I don't have the base attributes done for vision, speed, arm strength, or fielding. So if I have all the base attributes finished, which takes grinding road to the show, uh, vision on this is actually going to be 110, and then fielding is going to be about 80 with pretty close to a 99 maxed out arm strength on this too. So speed should be around 80 on this build here as well. So we'll go over like how to get those base attributes. Um, you start, it, when you first start Road to the Show, your base attributes are 30 without like any of the equipment, without any of the perks or the build that I'm gonna show you today. You start at about a base of 30. And as you progress through Road to the Show, you work your way up to a max of 50 all the way across the board. So I have contact at a max 50 and power at a max 50, plus the equipment, plus the perks, plus the, the build for the ball player gets us to that 125 power on both sides. So the reason why a lot of people and myself like the second base build is that you don't really get a lot of power in that second base position. So having that cap there with that much power is amazing. So what you're gonna wanna do if you're just starting out brand new on road to the show is you're gonna head to settings first actually because the reason why is you want to have these Road to the Show games go through very, very quickly. We'll change those settings here in a second, but I want to show you guys why we're changing those settings. So, so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually start up a new Road to the Show, and you want to pick the contact. So you don't want to pick power, you don't want to pick... I think it was speed or feeling or whatever, but you want to pick contact, the one that allows you to get a second base primary position. So once you get that, you're actually going to be starting with the slugging spark plug archetype at the bronze there and work your way up. And I'm going to switch it to it real quick and show you guys all the missions for that. So the missions, the main missions you're going to be looking at are the 15 plate, the plated appearances, the hits and extra base hits. You don't want to worry about the putouts, the assists or anything like that. And you just progress through it. And once you're finished, you get the, the silver ones. So once you're done with that, you're going to move on to the silver slugging spark plug. Slug and spark plug there. And then once you unlock that, you're going to go over to the gold tool shed. And once that's finished, you're also you're going to go to the, the diamond tool shed. And that's the main goal here. So the diamond tool shed. And then we'll go over the build here in a second. But let's let's go over the, the settings. So like I said, you're only focusing on the hitting parts of the missions. So your settings, you want these games to go by as fast as possible. We're going to head over to the mode specific. We're going to actually turn off showtime opportunities, turn off player lock fielding up opportunities, and turn off player lock base running opportunities. So that way you're only doing the hitting opportunities in each and every game. And then to make it faster, you're going to go to presentation and switch this presentation mode to fast play and then gameplay i would recommend probably switching this to beginner so that way you're just hitting home runs if you have it on beginner they're gonna throw right down the middle you literally don't have to move your pci you can hit home runs every single time it's pretty easy it's pretty easy on beginner there so make sure you actually get that all switched over so once that's done once you have all that finished you're you're gonna be able to Get started on your road to the show. Get that base to 50. That's the main thing that you want to do because all these other things are easy. Putting the loadout on and getting this to the attributes that I showed you, that's the easy part. But getting it to the base, 50 attributes for each attribute, that's the hard part. That's the grind. So, But we showed you how to get that grind finished quickly with the settings. Now we're going to show you the loadout that I have to top it off to get you to that 99 overall, that 125 power. So 
All in all, what you're going to want to work towards is that tool shed. The tool shed archetype, diamond archetype. The perks that you want on the tool shed archetype are power one, power three, power four, and power two. I didn't really mess around with this too much to see what goes well with what, but ultimately that's what we'd use to get to that 125 power verse, right? With a very good contact. So main thing, the tool shed, second baseman, you get the tool shed stuff if you have a second base primary position player and you work your way progress to that the tool shit so now equipment we made a video on this but we're gonna show you the the equipment that you're gonna want to use for this build so starting with the eyewear we have the encoder eyewear there from oakley diamond you're gonna have to use some stubs to get this finished up but we have the vapor slider sleeve 2 that's gonna give you a little bit more arm there then we have the legendary call probably one of the most expensive items on this list here today eight power and eight contact we also have the wrist guard you don't really need but i mean it gives you good discipline and durability there so it's not really it don't really matter what you get there we also have the batting gloves that gives you plus four contact and plus six power and i might actually switch that i want to look for something that gives us five contact and maybe five power the reason being is that this build right now if it wasn't maxed out to 125 it's actually this gives it this would bring it up to about 126 so we're gonna try to find something that gives us five contact and five power so we can use up more contact there but for right now we have the workhorse compression then we've got the mike trout bat grip there we have the shohei otani collector's edition this was from the pre-order if you do not have that pre-order there Go the second route and find something that gives you plus 7 power and plus 7 contact like this MLB Prime Maple C271. Love the moment edition. We've got the socks. We've got the Shoya Tani Showtime that gives you 6 speed and 8 steel. And then the Adi Zero Afterburner 8 gives you 14 speed, 10 steel. The rest of these don't really matter. The fielding glove kind of matters a little bit, but... We don't have a diamond for that one just yet. Elbow guard, chest protector, and catcher's mask really doesn't matter for this build either. So, But there you have it. That's that 99 overall second baseman build. I'll show you the attributes I have right now on this. Okay, I can't show you from this, this screen. We'll go back to the Diamond Dynasty screen here. But like I said, you start at a 30 base. Main thing you want to focus on is getting that base up to 50 like I have here. And it looks like I can actually get one more on the power left side. And if I have vision currently at 40, so that's not even maxed out just yet. So once I get that to a maxed out 50 base, our our um, total overall for 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 the vision is actually going to be 110. And yeah, I think this can get to a 99 arm strength too. So I mean, it don't really need 99 arm, arm strength for second base, but still pretty cool to have that. And then speed should be 80. Reaction time should be a little bit more too and then fielding should be around 80 plus there. So Let's actually I want to check real quick if there is a Diamond batting glove that gives us five contact five power. So there's actually quite a few so this is actually really good So this one gives us six five This one gives us six five and Then so those two yeah, so these three so the only other thing would be like if you want more plate vision or batting clutch plate vision there so there are a couple six five so we're gonna throw that on there we're gonna do the nike trout actually i think yeah let's do the nike trout one real quick and see what that looks like on there that should give us 114 i think 114 contact there we go yeah so that gives us actually 114 contact it drops the vision down a little bit but that's okay. Vision at 97 is really, really good too. And once that ma that's maxed out, it actually hovers around the 107. And then once I get my base on power versus left, that'll go right back up to 125. So this is actually better. So the Nike or the Mike Trout batting gloves is the better choice because it gives you plus two more contact. And still, you still get that 125 power versus right and left. So, the, but that's the build. This, this, it absolutely rakes, guys. I'm telling you this build absolutely rakes so i hope uh you guys don't hate me when you start seeing more second base 125 power on both sides builds please don't please don't but i hope this helps make sure you leave a like subscribe on the channel if you are new follow me on twitter official atrian and show me your current build ball player build right now tweet it at me i want to see them and if you if you did this build definitely show me and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below official atrian on twitter 
Thank you all so much for watching today. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.